In this video, we're going to be going over two-step inequalities, and the great news is uh, it is extremely similar, if not the same, as solving two-step equations. For example, let's say we had the uh, an equation uh, that was 3x plus 6 equals 15. Um, you all know now how to solve this. Uh, in order to get x by itself, first we minus 6 on both sides. Uh, those cancel out, and we'd be left with 3x equals 15 minus 6, and that's 9. And then finally, to get rid of this 3, we would divide both sides by 3, leaving us with the solution x equals 3. Now, alternatively, take a look at it as if it was an inequality. What if the question was 3x plus 6 is less than or equal to 15? Let's see what changes. Okay, so we know our process, our, or our, um, our goal is the same. We need to get x by itself. So again, we're going to minus 6 on both sides first. And then we get 3x, and then 9 on this side. Except uh, in the middle now, it's not an equal sign, it's an inequality. It's less than or equal to. Okay, and then we divide both sides by 3, just like before. Those cancel out, and you're left with x is less than or equal to 3. Notice, what's the difference between these two? The only difference is that it's an inequality symbol instead of an equal symbol. Pretty basic, right? The only, the only other important thing to remember is from the last level, where we learned how... Um, what, what happens to an inequality if you multiply or divide with a negative number? If you remember what happens is uh, the symbol switches direction. So as long as you remember that rule, solving two-step inequalities is really simple. But let's go ahead and uh, try some examples here. Let's go into this water. All right, let's say we're solving uh, negative 9 is greater than um, f over 2 minus 6. Okay. Um, intentionally giving you a question where the variable's on the right side. So you can see again, just a reminder of how, how to handle this. Alright, so we've got our left side and our right side here. So our variable's on the right side, so we actually do not need to get rid of the negative 9, we need to get rid of this minus 6. So I'm going to start by adding 6 to both sides canceling those out. Okay, and then we'll be left with f over 2 here. We've still got this symbol. And negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. All right, now to finish off, to get rid of this divide by 2, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And we'd be left with f greater than symbol and uh, negative 6. But as you should know by now, we always want to have an inequality where the variable is on the left side. So what we're going to do is switch these babies around, and which also switches the direction of the symbol. So instead of being greater than, it's going to be less than. And that would be our answer to the question. Now let's take a look at one that involves multiplying or dividing with a negative number. How about... You see green okay? Eh. How about purple? Okay, that works. Okay, uh, let's say we are doing uh, 9 minus x over 2 is less than uh, 12. Actually, you know what? That purple is kind of hard to see. Uh, I'm just going to switch back to black. Or oh, how about a darker purple? There we go. Yeah. Much better. Okay, uh, so first thing we're going to do is get rid of this 9. So I'm going to subtract 9 on both sides of the inequality here. Again, this is our left side and right side. Uh, so those will be cancelled out. And we're going to be left with negative x over 2 is less than uh, 12 minus 9. That was 3. Notice, guys, this is super, super important, that there was a negative or a minus symbol here. Which it still has to be here. It's part of this term. OK? 
okay? Just like in our polynomials unit, when something is being subtracted, consider it negative. It's kind of the same idea here. Very important to remember that. Now, uh, now we need to get rid of this uh, 2 here. Although there's uh, an easier way of thinking of this. Uh, instead of thinking of this x term here being negative, um, it's actually the 2 here that's negative. Um, so to get rid of this negative 2, I'm actually going to be multiplying my negative 2 since it's division. So times negative 2 and times negative 2. So that's going to cancel that all out and you'd be left with x on the left side. And on the right side, we'd have 3 times negative 2, and that's negative 6. Now, here's the important rule, right? If we multiply or divide by a negative number, the sign switches directions. And we did, right? We just multiplied by a negative number. So this sign, instead of being a less than symbol, is going to become a greater than symbol. So that would be our answer. x is greater than negative 6. Okay, let's go ahead and try one more problem. How about uh, 12 is greater than or equal to 6 minus 3x? Okay, so if this time we've got our variable on the right side of the inequality, so we need to keep that in mind. Uh, so if we're wanting to get x by itself, uh, first we need to get rid of this 6. So I'm going to minus 6 on both sides, canceling that out. On the left side, we've got 12 minus 6, which is 6. Our inequality symbol is still the same, because we, we have not multiplied or divided by a negative number yet. And then on the right side, we're going to be left with a negative 3x. Remembering, just like in the last um, example, that uh, since this term is being subtracted, we must consider it negative. So we need to keep that minus symbol there. Okay, um, now we need to get rid of this negative 3 in front of the x. And to do that, remember, we do not add 3 to both sides because this is not subtraction here. This is negative 3 times x. So the opposite of multiplying is, in fact, division. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 3 and that will make this whole thing cancel out. Okay, so now we've got our, we still got our x on this side. On the left side, we've got 6 divided by negative 3, and that would get us negative 2. Now again, we need to remember that important rule. We have divided by a negative number, therefore our inequality is going to switch directions. So instead of being a greater than or equal to symbol, it's going to become less than or equal to. Now, we're not quite done. Uh, we do have the right answer here, but we need to write it properly, where we have the variable on the left and the number on the right. So remember that when we do that, we also need to switch the symbol around. So it's actually going to go in this direction. And that would be our answer. Hopefully that's not too confusing, because I know we just actually switched the direction of the inequality twice. But sometimes that you have to do that, right? Like, First, we had to switch it because we multiplied by a negative number, and then we had to switch it again because the variable is on the wrong side. So keep in mind that sometimes you might have to do that. All right, I hope that's enough for this video. Good luck.